just a state right now. Everything's in. It's not good. This gives me kind of a comfort. I'm just nearly crying because I'm kind of like taking everything in. And I think I'll be looking back at this and laugh. I think I'm actually gonna cry when I get on this plane. <laughs> My name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will take you guys along on my study abroad journey that I'm currently doing here in Bray, Ireland. So just to tell you guys, I am doing a advanced Cambridge final exam in about five weeks. So that's why I'm here. I'm trying to get the diploma for the advanced. So I will be here for three months in total till December. And this video is just gonna show my arrival at my residence here in Bray and you know what I felt, um, how it went, and just overall the whole process. Okay, so while watching this video, please keep in mind that this is my first time ever going abroad by myself and moving away from my home and just in general being somewhere that I've never been without my family. So this is like my real authentic reaction and my feelings during this time. It was really hard and it, it's nearly two months ago now. I'm filming this after. So, I mean, it already happened, but I can tell you guys it was really hard. So yeah, please keep all of that in mind while you're watching this. Like it's not, I've never done this before. So, so now I'll take you guys along on this crazy journey and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy and well maybe i'll see you like in the middle of this video or somewhere because i think editing michelle has a lot to say about my past michelle so see you later guys enjoy just get out of the kitchen please It's me, editing Michelle. Obviously, the first thing I did was packing, which went great. It went great. It went great. Yeah. I apologize for my appearance in these clips in advance because, like I said, I said this for the first time, I'm stressed out, and I look horrible yeah that's all i have to say for this um hi this is me two months before in my room trying to get ready to pack i don't know why i'm putting lip gloss on to pack but yeah yes i am aware that i look ridiculous this is me closing it in a really dramatic way i didn't even know why i did that and i'm scratching my nose so this is kind of like the state of everything so i have my shoes in here these are all my bags i just stuffed them all in this one and i packed the suitcase already which i'm definitely not gonna open again because they're it's it's a mess spoiler alert i did open that suitcase again so this is all my clothes like most of my clothes this is the state right now everything's in <laughs> It's not good. So I haven't packed my toilet toiletries. Um, have not done that yet. <laughs> Excuse me, like my nose is itching. Like I've been recovering from a uh, flu. Uh, so yeah, I have to pack my toiletries and I'm just gonna keep some space in here in the suitcase. And then you have to have some day food. And these are like my toiletry bags. They're on my bed. Um, Help me! Help me! Yeah, and then there's like my school bag and everything, so. After days of agonizing pain, we finally made it. Uh, we're done packing. So let's go. I finished packing and then I kind of panicked for the rest of the day and I couldn't sleep, and then I woke up. It was time to leave. Oh God. Hi everyone, this is me on the day that I leave for Ireland. 
I was so scared, like, I was petrified. Oh, help me. So we're almost ready to go, and this are my three suitcases. That's my first one, the biggest one I had, and yeah, like I made it to 20 kilos each, which is great because you can only bring like 23 kilos. This is my second one, and lastly, this is my small carry-on that I will be bringing on the plane. I'm actually gonna cry when I get on this plane because I'm actually starting to cry now because I'm gonna miss my family like crazy, my room, everything, and just a bit overwhelmed at the moment because I just said goodbye to my sister. Five minutes before we leave. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I'm so scared and I'm so sad. I'm gonna leave this house behind. Bye house. Oh my gosh. After I said goodbye to my parents, I went to a restaurant to calm myself down because at this point I was just crying and I just wanted to do something to get my parents off my mind and just in general, me going. I had to get this out of my mind. I could not think about it. I went to the Moshi. It was good. I mean, I got a beer from Yusli. Not me trying to calm myself down by drinking water at an airport restaurant. <laughs> Bathroom break before heading to the gate. Woo! Uh -huh. I'm on my way to the gate now. <laughs> Okay. I'm on the plane now. Ooh. I made it actually, surprisingly. I'll tell you now, the pilot was so funny. He was the most motivated pilot I've ever had in my life. He was so funny. He had, he was so enthusiastic and he was ready to get us into the air. He was ready for it. And I was just sitting there crying because I wanted to get off of this plane. Commander Müller has estimated the flight time of approximately one hour and fifty-five minutes. We are officially in the air now, Ireland. Here I come. Yes, this looks so beautiful. Ah. I arrived at the airport and I had to find my driver, aka my taxi. I don't know. And I could not find my name, like no one was holding up my name, like they hold up your name on a board or something. And I did not see my name and I started to panic. Um, I already had like the emergency number up to, to call the company um, to ask where he was. And then I saw him and he was really nice. He was this middle-aged man. I'm really glad I met him because he was really funny. Like the whole time he said, I'm sorry, like there's traffic sometimes. Like, I think we can circle around. And sometimes he even took like a bus route to get me there. And then we arrived at Bray. And then he helped me with my luggage. And then we got inside and I met my landlord. And he just showed me around. Like, really quickly, like, he was really quick. But it was like, there's the kitchen, there's your refrigerator, there's your room, here's your bed, here's your bathroom and stuff and it was like and my brain was just like Freak. what i mean okay thank you and after that i i sat down on my bed i think it hit me then like when i sat on the bed for the first time i was like <gasps> holy <laughs> like this is my life now Here's real footage of me sitting on my new bed for the first time. And at this point, I was shooketh. I could not believe what I just did. What the fuck did I do? Um, this is my room, uh, apartment. Um, I have met two people. In They're all like 30, so it's not great. Um, I'm just trying to unpack everything now. Just went grocery shopping just for tomorrow morning and for lunch. I'm just nearly crying because I'm kind of like taking everything in and actually I just want to cry and fly home, but I can't. This is my life now and I have to figure out how to make it work, so yeah. Help me! So to calm my mind and just to process everything, I went to the beach. Uh, the Bray Beach. 
I just sat there and I just started talking to the camera because I felt so alone. I had no one to talk to, so that's what I just did. Throughout the whole day, actually, I just talked to the camera because I was so scared and alone. And it was so weird. You're just in this foreign country. You don't know anyone. And at this point, I was just scared that I wouldn't find any friends or talk to, to anyone ever again. Like, it was really, really weird feeling. I've never had this feeling before in my life. So, yeah, it took me a little while. Yay, so this is Bray Beach. And this is Bray Head over there, um, I think. Or you can do the um, cliff walk. Hi everyone, I am at the beach right now. So far it's been uh, pretty hard. Um, really freaking hard. Um, I really don't wanna go back to my apartment because that means I'm gonna be alone. I am actually just here to eat with people. I'm just really missing home, um, but, um, this gives me kind of a comfort. <coughs> <coughs> Try not to cry at the moment, so I think I'll be looking back at this and laugh. It's been an awful, pretty cool day. I don't know how else to describe it. So that was basically my day. It was crazy, um, had a lot of ups and downs. I think the first two days are the hardest. I mean, just before you really go to school and actually meet people that are gonna spend the most time with you, uh, just before that time, it's just really hard because you, you don't know anyone, but that's normal. I mean, uh, we all go through that when we move to a different place or just, when we're put into another environment. I think I handle it okay, I hope. I don't know if that's uh, what you call handling well. Uh so that wraps up my first video of my arrival here in Bray, Ireland for my study abroad journey. I hope you liked this video, I hope it was enjoyable to watch. And I hope it gives you kind of a comfort for your future study abroad journey, if you're planning one or if you're thinking about going on a study abroad exchange or something like that. If you like this video, you can leave a like or comment down below if you want to. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments or follow me on Instagram at Pink. And have a lovely day in pink. See you in the next one.